My name is Brinley Brooks. I am from Seattle, Washington. I am the executive director and founder of hsconnect.org, and I was officially diagnosed with HS when I was 16. The thing that made me want to do this Beautify HS project is that for so many years, I was afraid of showing myself to anyone. Um, I constantly hid my HS for about 27 years, actually, and didn't really tell anyone other than my you know, close friends and family about my HS. Have you had your own issues with seeing yourself as beautiful because of your HS? Absolutely. Absolutely. I don't know anybody, honestly, who has HS that hasn't had issues with that. Um, it has a huge impact on your self-esteem. In the past, it was more like, am I worthy? Is someone going to want to love me? Will I ever find a spouse? Will I ever find someone to make a life with? Um, who would want to be with someone like me? Who is, you know, viewed as disgusting and um, smelly and, you know, gross, basically, but has no control over that. And it's, it's really difficult and you try to push those down, but they always come to the surface still. I think most of it happened more when I was younger. Um, you know, when you're in middle school and high school, your self-talk is usually negative anyway, but having HS, I think, amplifies that. Um, and you always feel out of place. You always feel uncomfortable. In gym class, you know, you're the girl who's trying not to take off her shirt so that anybody can see her underarms because she has flares um, or changing extremely quickly into your shorts because you don't want anyone to see the flares on your bikini line. So for me now, the way that I use my HS or how I talk to myself is that my outlet is HS Connect. It's a way that I can help other people um, in a way that I couldn't help myself. I'm hoping that HS patients get from this project that they are beautiful despite their scars and in spite of their scars uh, and because of their scars, they're beautiful. And I hope more that the people who don't have HS have a better understanding of the condition that we have, that it becomes mainstream and that we don't feel like we have to hide anymore, that we can be out in the open about our HS and we should be able to talk about it as freely as people talk about diabetes. Um, or hypertension, and that it's that important for us to be seen and heard and validated. My HS is beautiful, your HS is beautiful, our HS is beautiful.